Hey everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we ask the question of what Terraria Short Sword should have been. Now, Terraria Short Swords, as of 1.4, the latest Terraria update and the final one, quote unquote, they're in a pretty good spot. They changed it so that you're able to stab in multiple directions, much like a spear. So imagine a short sword, but you're able to choose your directions. And it's honestly not that bad. You could kind of consider short swords, I don't know, a subclass of spears, I guess, since they work pretty much the same. The only difference is spears have length obviously but yeah we're in 1.3 because story 1.4 modding is not out yet and we got a mod here called the short sword x mod and as you can see it adds in a good bit of short swords now they are not like 1.4 short swords in terms of you can choose your direction they're like the og short swords as we can see here you stab with them the calamity mod also adds in a bunch of short swords and i took the post moon lord ones i believe because why not let's check those out but yeah let's get to it here we got a lot more variation obviously the short sword variation is not the worst in vanilla terraria but it's nothing crazy nothing to really main a subclass off of but yeah let's grab a bunch of them here I'm not gonna look at recipes because there's a bunch of them uh the first thing i am gonna mention is i don't like how the cat Cacti knife is shaped. It's it's an odd shape. I mean, it looks like a smaller version of the cactus sword, but the cactus sword also has a very odd shape. But let's get to it. It does six damage. Let's stab something. Now I have Omni Swing installed, uh, and I don't know if the mod itself also allows you to just hold left click. But thank God for mods, right? Because imagine having to click every time. It's terrible. But yeah, it's a cactus short sword. What do you expect? Something you could just get your hands on quickly at the beginning of the game. Next one, we got the bone knife. Uh, a lot of these are called knives, actually, rather than short swords. Oh, wrong enemy. Throw that bitch away. All right, let's see it in action, though. Bone on bone action. This one's really fast. I like that. It actually did pretty good damage, too. Not bad. Next up here, we have the Ninja Slasher. Uh, I have honestly no idea where you would get this from. This is the only one I'll look up a recipe because I'm honestly interested. So it's just iron and bones? Okay. I thought it would be like a King Slime drop or something. But yeah, let's see it in action here. I expect this one to be fast, too. And yeah, it's pretty pretty fast short swords i definitely would see as single target weapons unlike their counterpart spears which can hit multiple enemies with a very nice range maybe a short sword can do that but it, it's a little bit more dangerous next up we have the light stabber and the blood dagger the crimson and corruption variants of course let's see him in action oh look at the little knockback after a couple of hits i don't know if i really like knockback on short swords it feels kind of weird it feels like the one thing i'm trying to get done here is single target damage really quickly and i'm like poking the enemy away i don't know about it all right next we have the stabomasa this one i'm excited to see here this one should be pretty fast again it has a little too much knockback for my liking but still not bad i feel like this you could probably take on multiple enemies fairly easily because of the knockback the next one enchanted short sword this one i believe is our first projectile short sword and just like the enchanted sword it's amazing who doesn't love getting this thing early on you can actually aim where the projectile goes the sword doesn't really go that direction but that's very nice that you can at least aim the projectile all right and we have our last set of short swords here for pre-hard mode and as you can see there's a lot of variation amongst them which is one thing i could give to this mod is that there's actually variation and it's not like wooden short sword or short swords you like to see that you know they're variations of the regular swords you get throughout the area which is very very nice but yeah let's see the bee knife in action of course it summons in bees it's a tiny beekeeper honestly my summon in bees a lot faster speak about summoning in things faster we have the short fury now this this thing can be a menace here it might be hard to like line up the attacks and the stars oh no there you go this would do some damage honestly let me summon in a nymph here because i feel like this thing would do some good damage look how many stars we're summoning that one right there is a really good one though next up we have the slasher of grass let's see it in action here does it do anything crazy i would assume it poisons but of course i choose the enemy that does not take poison damage let's see i'm not seeing any poison here on the nymph okay maybe the nymph is also anti-poison no idea maybe it just doesn't do poison damage on to the next one here fiery short sword uh, i haven't really mentioned anything about anything about the sprites the sprites look amazing there's not really much to be said there they look exactly how i expect them to look that's really it but yeah let's see this one in action here it's gonna do some nice damage of course it's a fiery sword and then we have 
the Knight's Edge equivalent. Short's Edge. Beautiful. What a great name. Let's test it against the Nymph here. Why not? You know, why not? Does good damage. Does it fast. Keeps the enemy at bay. Very beautiful. All right. So those were the pre-hard mode ones. Let us see the hard mode ones. As you can see, there's a bunch here. Also, there's a broken hero short sword for the true ones of course but yeah let's go ahead and grab a bunch here let's see him in action we got the breaker short sword very interesting to see the breaker blade as a short sword oh good damage though let's see it on the uh nymph i think we should summon in the nymph from this point on and then we have the palladium slasher and the cobalt stabber these ones pretty much what you expect they're the ore versions of short swords they that's that's really it unless the ore sword does a bunch of damage or the ore is really high tier probably adamant titan the titanium one i just noticed that the titanium one's also called adamantite stabber but yeah unless you're like the higher tier ones it doesn't really matter it's not really too much to show off here it still does good damage but like i don't know there's probably better options at this point in time when it comes to short swords so there's not much to see here but then that's where things start to get unique that's where we start picking up the stronger and unique ones we got the frost pike look at this another projectile short sword i can't even see the sword oh there you go you can also aim the projectile again very useful we got the beam short sword it does exactly what you think is gonna do shoot a beam and it's pretty good the projectile great knockback keeping things at bay we got the short scalibur next now the excalibur you know the excalibur is not a bad sword but now you get the option if you want a short version why not right I feel like this would be a good playthrough, a good tough playthrough with short swords. I can ma imagine uh, there being a couple of tough bosses, the Wall of Flesh being the first one. That would imagine be pretty hard with short swords only. But you know, people in Terraria have done crazier things. But yeah, the true short Scalibur, the projectile is amazing on this. After that, we have the true short's edge. Let's see it in action. Beautiful. Doing great damage so far. I love all the true ones. But then we move on to the Terra knife. This one I'm hyped to see. Oh, yes. Oh, my my god we're shooting so many more projectiles than we would with a terror blade that's amazing you love to see it after that we have the chlorophyte stabber chlorophyte weapons i find myself never ever using them 99 percent of the time besides like the shot bow the shot bow is probably like the most used chlorophyte weapon for me but yeah let's see it in action here yeah it shoots that projectile that i expected it was gonna shoot still not bad though it's definitely up there in the damage all right and we have our final five here not including the calamity ones let's see them in action we have the influx stabber the influx weapon in general the regular one and this one i love them this is one of my favorite vanilla terraria swords uh right next to the seedling i'm actually surprised there wasn't like a seedling variant i feel like a seedling variant would be nice i love the seedling next up we have the horseman's knife this one i'm actually hyped to see oh why are we we're shooting them backwards is there something over there i don't know for some reason they're shooting backwards interesting there must be something over there after that we have the christmas shrub a lot of these do have actually some pretty good names but let's see their christmas shrub oh it shoots ornaments just like the big one so it seems like a majority if not all of them are literally just tinier versions of the big swords which honestly that's exactly what i expect oh my god the short wrath this thing seems op as hell the star wrath itself is pretty damn good of a weapon but i think let me let me see here i think we're shooting faster than regular slightly faster than regular honestly it might be the same but a lot of these short swords they swing faster than regular swords so i'm assuming we're probably doing like double the projectiles at least it felt with the uh, short fury because the regular star fury that thing's pretty slow when it comes to summoning stars but yeah we have the meow mini what a great name fun size meow mirror let's see it in action oh beautiful you love to see it everyone's favorite terraria sword right and again i'm assuming we are shooting a little bit faster than the regular meow mirror so very nice but yeah there we're all the short swords from the short sword x mod make sure you guys check out that mod but now let's check out the calamity post moon lord ones now i'm gonna zoom out here and we're gonna summon in the king slime for these starting with our first one here the cosmic shiv it's got a lot of text to read there don't feel like reading that let's just fight the king slime okay it did so much damage it froze my game that's how you know it's a little bit powerful of a sword let's let me see skeletron in action we're fighting daytime skeletron so obviously defense is gonna be a little bit higher also it has its hands let's see it in action here 
Look at the like projectiles were raining on it. We're not insta killing it, but still, the like projectiles were raining on it are insane. Let me see these back on the king slime. Like it literally insta kills the king slime. I expect it to though. It is a post moon lord weapon. There are a lot of things, but they insta kill the slime if it's post moon lord. Next up, we have the elemental shiv. Don't underestimate the power of shivs. That's what we've learned today. King slime. Let's see him in action here. Oh my god. Look at all the projectiles shooting everywhere. Damn, my game is like extra laggy today. I don't know what's going on. You know, maybe I need a new graphics card. I need a 3090 or, or something, man, because the 3080 ain't cutting it, right? Next up, we have the Exo Gladius. This thing does 2,800 melee damage. That's crazy. Let's see it against King Slime. Holy hell. That was an insanely quick kill. The, the fastest kill we've had so far. So like on its own, it doesn't really do too much. But then you hit an enemy with it, it shoots all those swords everywhere. It's crazy. And last but not least, we have the Galileo Gladius, which does less damage than the Exo one. Interesting. Uh, don't underestimate the power of small space swords. Shoots a homing crescent. Spawns planetoids. What? I gotta see it in action now. Oh, little, little Oh my god. Okay, see, I thought the little tiny ones were the planetoids. And then here comes something falling from the sky. Let me go ahead. Let me see that again in action. Let's see it on the Queen Bee. Boom. Stab her a couple times. That's pretty good damage for her. Stab her like once or twice. And she's dead. But yeah, there you go. There was a bunch of short swords from not only the short sword X mod, but the Calamity mod. The Calamity mod does have a lot of short swords. Again, that was just the post moon lord ones I showed off. But yeah, make sure to check out both of these mods. In my opinion, I believe short swords could definitely be expanded upon. I will say that I kind of wish that there was a little bit more creativity in terms of all of these, because I feel like all of these, they literally just copy, you know, the bigger version of the sword and make them a short sword. I feel like the mod developer can be a little creative add a little bit more of their own touch into it you know doesn't need to be an exact copy of the bigger swords but still i like the options of being able to use you know whatever i want if i want to use short swords in a playthrough and i want to torture myself shoot there you go who knows maybe in the future we'll do a playthrough with short swords only it's definitely possible but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see y'all next time have a good one